Hey guys, and welcome back to Heavy Rain. Uh, I had intended on recording this and getting it uploaded before I left Texas, but that unfortunately didn't happen. So I had to wait until I got here to get everything recorded. And this part in particular, I actually had to do twice because the recording was corrupted. So this is my third time through this particular segment. Yeah, not too much to say other than the sound quality might be a bit different. I'm hoping it'll be better. I'm still getting everything set up and getting used to the new place and I'm gonna soundproof this little area around my desk to try and help out a little bit more as well, but yeah. Heavy rain. It's been a long time since I've actually played through this game, but I, after playing this part twice in a row, I'm hoping that it's just going to fly through this third try here. Uh, that older woman that you just saw, I do remember you actually encounter her later in the game as well. And I think one of the children that they show is uh, one of the victims of the origami killer and obviously this game is a bit old now so i'm not too concerned about spoilers there you know eve once again and i know i've said this before even with the advances that quantic dream has made with their motion capture and their face face design for the models these were not bad these were very very good for the time and it's still impressive to watch even with how uh, exaggerated some of the mouth movements can be but if you watch the behind the scenes videos that they have as well you can tell that these actors had to open their mouths extremely wide and just do very extreme facial expressions in order for them to be animated properly so it's not their fault. They were doing the best with what they had at the moment as far as mocap technology. Two years later. Ethan's looking rough. I do like how they built in the opening credits into the actual environment for the game and the fact that there's no pre-rendered cutscenes. These are all Hi Sean. These are all the in-game models and the in-game settings and in-game effects. So that's really cool as well. And as far as I'm aware, the rest of the Quantic Dream games have been the same way. Even Indigo Prophecy, as primitive as the graphics are in comparison to these. Okay, and as far as the actions and stuff, I'm going to do as many as I can. I know I won't be able to get all because some of them are specific to individual storylines that we can have in the game, but I'm going to get as many as I possibly can just to give a as complete of an experience as possible. And my right trigger on my controller is not responding very well, so... That's going to make some of these QTE events extremely interesting. David Cage, one of my, I guess I can't say least favorite human beings, but he's definitely not one of my favorites as far as uh, how he portrays women and uh, LGBT people in his games. He's gotten better but he has a tendency to rely on really outdated stereotypes and it's definitely not my favorite thing to see in, you know, widely accepted media. So, house layout's not bad. Just need some updating. Okay. 
Okay, let's see what it'll let me do. It's time for your snack. Are you hungry? I guess, uh, a little. Let's see what we can find in the kitchen. All right. Have fun, then. We got chips and we got, I think, animal crackers. Eh. Let's find you something healthy. Or being a good dad. Yeah. Apple. Oh, God, these controls. Oh. Come on. Here, Sean. Here's your snack. Thanks, Dad. The dialogue is so weird in this game. Grace has Sean this weekend. Seems like he can't wait to get back. Oh, did, didn't want to finish that thought. It's still early. We'll see about the homework later. I wrote a reminder. Didn't want to finish that thought either. Sean hasn't done his homework yet. Yeah, the animated shorts that you see in most of the Quantic Dream games are actually from uh, French animation students, so that's pretty cool. Where are you going? I think he's- yeah, he's just going to the bathroom. Um, check the list maybe, yeah. God, 8 o'clock bedtime still just throws me off. That's way too early. I would have just been... That would have driven me insane. Um... I hate standing around doing nothing. Newspaper. Yeah. Oh no. Stress. I keep making references to Indigo Prophecy because anytime something stressful or depressing or dangerous happened, the character's stress meter would go up. Totally how the human body works. Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. We'll do it later, okay? No. I think we should just get right to it, then it's done and out of the way. Now get your bag and get set up in the kitchen. I'll help you. Yay, we're being a good father. Alright, now this part... This and when they're having dinner is just really weird to me, because I can't do anything till the kid gets to the table. Come on, come on. And then you just kind of sit here staring awkwardly the entire time. I thought I was going to help him with his homework, but nope, I'm just going to sit here and stare at him silently watching. Mwahaha. Like, it's really just the most awkward thing in the world. And you can't do anything but sit here. It's just unnecessarily long without any dialogue or internal monologue or anything like that. It's just the weirdest little spot. We done? Dad, I'm finished. Can I go Yay. watch TV? All right. Let me get over. Yeah. Let me have a look. Being a good Pretty dad. Good. Well, looks like you're done. <laughs> Off you go. I'm well, just going to stand here and stare at you awkwardly for a second. Da, da, da. Let's see, it's about six. Yep, 
It's getting dark. Better turn on the light. Love that I gotta tell myself that mentally. Let's go turn on all the lights. Hmm. So, do you wanna talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know, about you, your friends? How things are going? Nothing special. Are you always a brick wall to talk to? How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. Yes, he's always a brick wall to talk to. What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. Okay, that one I can't exactly fault him for. I can't ask about dinner now? Oh, okay. Do you want me to get your dinner? No, thanks. I'm not hungry yet. All right, fine. Go read the mail. Da, da, da. So exciting, looking at the mail. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children had never been seen again. Well, that's depressing. And the kid's sneezing, so... You've got a cold coming on. I'm going to see if I can find some medicine for you. Because I'm a good dad. And I remember it's not in the downstairs bathroom, so upstairs we go. I, I genuinely don't do not like the uh, camera controls, but we have to pee. Because according to Indigo Prophecy, every time you pee, your stress levels go down. Can I actually wash my hands? Can I wash my hands? Can I, can, 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 ah, okay, nope, get, get, can, yeah, here we go. Wash those hands. I guess... Slightly getting them wet is fine. Going back downstairs. Can't turn any light off once you turned it on. That kind of bugs me. Got the camera. You have to click the uh, the left. Uh, bumper button on the top of the controller, not the trigger button, but the one above it to switch the camera angle around, and it's not the uh, most intuitive. Here, take this. Game this. Has... It'll make you feel better. Thanks, Dad. This game has a few set camera Come on, angles. Sean. It's time for bed. Oh, but I never go to bed this early. Oops. Alright, fine. You're right, it's still early. I'll come back for you when it's time. I, I hit that Do you want me to get your early. dinner? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm really hungry. All okay, right. I'll go see what I can find. Let's go do dinner. I'll call you when it's ready. Now I will say, every time I've seen somebody play this game, and when I played it the first time as well, I immediately went for the pizza, but we are going to go for the chicken TV dinner thing. Slightly, and I say slightly healthier than pizza. God, these controls. I can't tell. It, it said 20 before I put it in there, and that definitely wasn't 20 seconds, but whatever. Time does not exist in the world of heavy rain. Okay. Wow, that the, the top paper just kind of vanished. Where did that go? 
You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. John, the I'm awkward coming. dialogue again. Your meal is ready. No drink with dinner? Come on, Dad. And I'm just going to sit here and awkwardly stare at my child again. Make sure you eat all of those vegetables. Awkwardly sitting in silence. Just making sure you eat all those carrots and potatoes. You didn't eat all of that. You were gonna waste all that food. I'm just gonna. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna dump it in the sink. That's fine. All right. Always remember to turn the dryer on, kids. I don't know why I did that. Oh, it's the washer. It's not the dryer. I can hear the water sloshing now. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. Oh, but I never go to bed this early. Fine. You're right, it's still early. I'll come back for you when it's time. I'm just so used to playing this game and ending up missing the time frame to send him to bed, so he always goes to bed late. What else can I do just downstairs? I don't want to mess with upstairs right now. The controls going up and downstairs is just really awkward. Nothing in here? Okay. Da, 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 da. No beer. We're being a good dad. We're gonna shake this. No, shake, shake, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. No, I'm shaking it, you picky thing. Jeez. Right out of the jug. Just keeps putting his hand back on the fridge, too. It's like, you took your hand off the fridge? Oh, I guess just to wipe his mouth off. Whatever. I mean, it's still funny. It's like he's holding on to that fridge door for dear life. Alright, what do we got now? Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? No. Now that's not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. You have to get some sleep. All right, I'm going. Are you coming with me? Go brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. I'll come up. Dad of the year right here. All right. God, the rain is really loud. I've got my headphones on while I'm doing this and it's just... The sound of the rain is putting me to sleep and making me wish it would rain here. Da, da, da. Okay, kids go into the bathroom. Now, I checked this out the second time I played through this trying to record it, and I did not do this part the first time that I played the game, like the very first time, so this was new. You have not been working for a long time, Ethan. Time to watch sad things. Hey, stop messing around or I'll never be able to film you. 
What do you want me to do? I don't know. Oh, yeah, Jason, tell me what you want to be when you grow up. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a fireman or an astronaut. Oh, wait, wait, I know. I'll be a dinosaur hunter. I'll make video games. And here's the most beautiful mother in the whole wide world. Oh, well, Ethan, stop. Don't film me. You know I don't like it. Hey, Dad, <laughs> film me, film me. I'll show you how fast I can run. Yeah, me too, Dad. I can run really fast, too. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty sad. That stress meter is going up again. I do feel bad for Ethan, but it's obvious that he needs a lot more than just therapy. He, he needs genuine help and he's not getting it. Let's get these blinds down. It is just pouring outside. Come come on. And oh. More concerning depressing things. The child should also be in therapy if he's not already because this kid saw his brother die, like, saw it right happening in front of him, and he definitely needs help. Good night, Sean. My teddy! I haven't got my teddy, Dad! You must have left it somewhere in the house. Do you have any idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please, I can't sleep without him. Alright, All right, I'll have a look around and see if I can find it, okay? I remember where the teddy is, so let's go get it. If I can stop messing up walking around with these awful controls. Make the kid happy because we're being a good dad. Ta da! Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, kid. Night, Sean. Night. Dad? Yeah? Why do you look so sad? I think I just need some time. To get back to the way things were. You know, Dad, what happened to Jason wasn't your fault. Good night, Sean. I mean, he, he can't possibly be depressed because of, you know, the blunt force trauma to the head and his son dying in his arms. Not in the slightest. But of course, this kid's not going to understand that. Although, he went to sleep just... Quick. He's out like a light. Wish I fell asleep like that. Oh. Oh. Where will you be when your migraine strikes? But no. This is what I'm saying though when... Ethan has some issues that he needs to be addressing and needs to be more open about during therapy because we do sit in on a therapy session at some point in the game and 
he just kind of brings it up and glosses over it. And this is really intense stuff. And I want to know how that got in his hand. They never really explain that. But I think that'll be all for this part for the time being. I've got a few more parts I need to get edited together. See you later guys and thank you for joining me.